Yes. So I'm just showing you some tips, you know. Something is happening in North America and also in the UK. People need to be sure how to survive. Like when the coronavirus appeared, everybody's running to buy toilet papers. You know, you go to the stores, the toilet papers are finishing. You know, I don't know who's teaching people. The coronavirus does not attack our bottom. It attack our immune system. And so I want to give you guys tips for survival. Things that can boost your immune system. So now I'm, I'm, I'm staying in my place. The first things I got when I heard like people have to stay in, you need dry grains like sorghum, you see? Sorghum is a survival food. It has got 240,000 antioxidants. It is complete protein. It's a grain that you can eat dry. You can boil it, you could do it. In our journey, that's what we use for survival. When I was a child soldier, I used to have them on my pockets. They give you energy and they allow you to go a long distance. If you see the athletes that go run long distance, if you're running long distance, you have this. For immune boosting system, sorghum is the number one surviving food you could ever think of. And if any other things happen in your life that you're in either danger and you want a second food, you need Moringa. Moringa has got 300 healing properties, 46 anti-inflammatories, and 92 essential nutrients. So at the moment, you can combine that to boost your immune system. So the other stuff that I require to back me up, these are beans, you know, these are green beans. Then you have like these tiny little beans, which you could have pinto beans, or you could have uh, black beans, or you could have the all kind of beans, all legumes, even lentils. You can use that for survival. Also, dry nuts. You know, you could, if you can have fresh dry nuts like this. This is real nuts. These are African nuts. These are like. Organic nuts, I have those ones. You can plant these seeds if you're in the wild so they can grow. So these are my survival stuff. And how is my breakfast? So, because I'm already prepared, I didn't buy tissues, so I can always just use water. The Muslims have been using water for generations. In the wild, what did we used to do? The only time I came to know tissue was I, when I came to Kenya. I have never seen a tissue in my life. All I used was leaves, uh, the grass and other stuff. So, to survive, the most important thing you re require is food and water. And so, here are the stuff that I do. So, me, even for my survival, mostly I travel. My breakfast has always, always, all, uh, my breakfast has always been jalwa, which is like this one, which is a mixture of sorghum and moringa. So when I'm on road to boost my immune system so that I don't crash easily, I just drink it with water and eat it. And so for now here, my breakfast, as you can see, is it's just a porridge made out of milk, blueberries, and a spoon of jalwa in it. So this boosts my immune system. This is how you prepare, just, just preparing yourself just in case the virus invade you. And so... I'm just giving you guys some tips for survival. Sleep well, eat healthy, and just be positive. Dance to your favorite music. This is a moment that all people can share stories. So for now, that's what I want to show you. Don't worry about toilet papers. If, there's tr if a danger happens, you're not, you're not going to need a toilet paper in the wild. What you need is proper food. And then the second tip is scientists have told us to wash our hands all the time. Peace is you. Thank you for watching.